Hello students, today let us see a theorem on divisibility that is called Fundamental Theorem of Arithmetic. This is the statement of the theorem for any integer that is greater or equal to 2. That integer is either a prime number. Suppose it is not a prime number, it can be product as uh, it can be written as a product of primes. Moreover, such a factorization is unique except the order in which they are written. So let us prove it in two steps. First step is existence. There is uh, that we are going to prove there is such factorization exist. That can be proved using mathematical induction. First initial step n equal to 2 is a prime n equal to 3 is a prime n equal to 4 is not a prime but it can be written as product of primes n equal to 5 is a prime n equal to 6 is not a prime it can be written as product of primes 2 into 3 and so on so for few values we have proved the initial steps and induction hypothesis let us assume the result is true for all the integers that is less than or equal to k. So for all integer that is less than or equal to k, that integer is either a prime or it can be written as product of primes. Now let us prove the result for n equal to k plus 1. Suppose k plus 1 is a prime number, then we are through. We have nothing to prove. The statement itself, it's a prime number. If it is not prime number, it is it can be written as product of primes. So if it is prime number, we don't have anything to prove. Suppose if it is not a prime number, if it is a composite number, then it can be written as product of two integers a into b, where a is less than or equal to k and b is less than or equal to k. Now by induction hypothesis, what we prove, assumed is for all integer greater uh, less than or equal to k, it is either a prime number or it can be written as product of primes. So A is written as product of primes, B is written as product of primes. So A into B, that is K plus 1 is also written as product of primes. So we have proved K plus 1 is a, either a prime or if it is not a prime, it can be written as product of primes. Now the second step. So by induction principle, the result is true for all integers now <coughs> sorry uh, let us prove the step two that is uniqueness step so suppose, suppose there are two different prime decomposition prime factorization for the integer n n equal to p1 p2 etc pr n equal to q1 q2 etc qs what we are going to prove is R is equal to S. The number of primes appear is exactly the same number of primes. Suppose not. Suppose R is less than S. That is here we have lesser prime numbers. We have more prime numbers in the second factorization. We should get a contradiction. So what contradiction we are going to get? Let us see. So since the right hand side, left hand side are equal, right hand side must be equal. So P1, P2, etc. PR equal to Q1, Q2, etc. QR and QS, uh, S is greater than R. So some more prime numbers are there. QR plus 1, etc. QS. Now P1 divides the left hand side. P1 is one of the factor in the left hand side. So P1 divides the left hand side. So naturally P1 divides the right hand side also. So P1 is equal to Q i sir, for some i uh, qj for some j so let us cancel them when we cancel them what's the uh, left hand side p2 etc p3 p4 etc pr right hand side we will have q1 q2 qr qr plus 1 etc qj minus 1 qj is already cancelled so it won't appear qj plus 1 etc qs and we are proceeding in the same manner P2 divides the left hand side. So P2 divides the right hand side also. So P2 is going to cancel with some prime number QI on the right hand side. So when we cancel one by one, the left hand side is completely cancelled since it has very less number of prime numbers than the 
right hand side prime numbers so left hand side first becomes 1 right hand side we are having uh, some prime numbers product of some prime numbers how many numbers is s minus r now this result is impossible product of prime numbers cannot be equal to 1 so we got a contradiction so this contradiction arises due to our assumption that is r is less than s so this assumption is wrong so the correct one is r is equal to s so the number of prime numbers must be equal in the factorization when they when we say prime numbers number of prime numbers are equal automatically the prime numbers are also equal in value so the factorization is unique except the order in which they are written p1 may be equal to some q5 or q6 like that p2 may be equal to some q j or q i like that so the order is, doesn't matter the factorization is unique so when we don't consider the order factorization is unique same number of primes are appearing in both the factorization with this the proof is over let us see another theorem in the next video. Thank you.